just that she could be there with us more often too and i really miss having that you know she's a 15 year old and i've we've never really shared any teenage years together yet these domestics came to indianapolis and waited for the most important moment of kim's young life the day of me is very nerve-wracking to me i pace the floor a lot my stomach is up to my throat <laughs> i get very nervous for her or she's about having a heart attack about that <laughs> We do a lot of shopping. We, we go around looking at different things and uh, try to keep away from the subject of gymnastics as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Good. I like the gold right above her. Hope we end up with the gold tonight. Right. These Nemescos will see their daughter for the first time at the same moment as 15,000 others. For now, Bella is a central figure in her life. <laughs> Well, you feel very nervous for her. Um, you know, she's prepared. Uh, you'd like to be out there helping her, but you know you can't. You have to sit back as a parent and watch her from the stands. of being a parent david and clarice and you know they have enjoyed the moments but they've been very tense at other times we're going to come back and show that floor exercise that captured the gold in the all around for kim zamasco when we return to the fourth and final rotation the floor exercise for kim zamasco and kathy johnson she knew exactly what she needed to win the gold she really proves she can handle pressure like no one else. She led the all-around competition from start to finish. sensation in women's gymnastics. Kim Zemesco, she's with our Julie Moran. Gary, a sensation she certainly is, and our first all-around world champion. Kim, is it still a little bit hard to believe? Yeah, it still is. Actually, when the award ceremony was going on, I was almost afraid to walk up there because I was like, maybe I'm dreaming this. <laughs> Last night, Boganskaya went first, and she scored well. You had to have a great routine on the floor. What were you thinking the minute you stepped foot out there? I was really excited. Um, I, w I, really, I was nervous for the light to go on. I wanted, I, you know, it couldn't happen fast enough, and I had a feeling I was going to do a good routine anyway. Today, the vault, you scored a perfect 10 in the team competitions. Do you think that put any more pressure on you today? Not actually any more pressure. I just wanted to go out and, you know, try my best. It didn't go wonderful, but I'm not, I'm not willing <laughs> to trade in anything that happened from last night. Certainly not. Continued success tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us. 
And Gary, we all have the pleasure of watching Kim compete for yet another gold medal tomorrow in her favorite event, the floor exercise. Back to you. That's right, Julie. In a future Wide World of Sports program, we'll show you more of the women's all-around competition. We'll return with more action from the 1991 World Gymnastics Championships after this message and a word from our ABC stations. So the women competing on the uneven bars, the men on the rings as we continue our live coverage. Utsu of the Soviet Union, 995. Hoshka of Romania. And Montage of Romania. The Romanians still, their presence is always noticed in every competition. The Oklahoma. We have seen a beautiful and even bar routine so far, packed full of difficulty. Welcome back from Athens, Oklahoma. And now for the United States on the uneven bar, Shannon Miller. She was sixth in the all around, 14 years old from Edmond, Oklahoma. She made all four event finals. Shannon indeed has the difficulty in this routine to medal and a huge dismount. The first release move comes right after the mount. She'll do a full pirouette on the top bar and then right into a ginger. Very nice amplitude on that. Here's her second release move. It's a reverse hex. She's moving very well. Here's that dismount. Half in, half out. <laughs> Must get the landing. Boy, she does a difficult routine, doesn't she, Kathy? She really never holds back in competition. I even asked her about it because on every single event, she just really pushes the edge of the envelope in terms of her potential in the level of difficulty. There's that reverse heck. You can really see she keeps good form, toes pointed, legs straight. <laughs> Watch this, this is great. Full twisting double back and a great landing. Scott Keswick, by the way, earlier posting a 9775 on the rings. That puts him in fourth place. <laughs> Shannon, Miller. Hey, Shannon Miller, while we're away, has pulled into a tie for first in the uneven bars. Her score, a 995. And Fecker of Germany, a close second now. The Sutton of the Soviet Union, a 9862. As we're coming back to the uneven bars, Kim Gwan Suk of North Korea will be performing on the uneven bar. So thus far, Gutsu and Miller tied for first, Hoska. She has certainly been one of the favorites here and a favorite on the uneven bars. She's four feet, four inches tall and 60 pounds. Scored a 9.987 during the optional round of the team competition to qualify. And <laughs> you won't believe this routine. Big reverse heck right into a reverse heck front. Unbelievable. <laughs> Big dismount coming up here. After her Jaeger front, here's her final sequence. Wow, she just flies around. Four, four, 60 pounds. Watch this, reverse heck. She generates enough speed to go into another one, but does a front somersault <laughs> and catches. That Wonderful. is unbelievable. Oh, Kim Guan Suk of North Korea, and the crowd loves it. Do you believe she's 16 years old? <laughs> her father is five six. Her mother is five one. So she comes by her small size in a hereditary fashion. And the crowd so appreciative. What great crowds we have had. 15,000 here last night. I think it's bigger than that tonight. That was really exceptional. Three big release moves in that routine. And a high tuck double back dismount. Well, it's really amazing to watch the young lady from North Korea. And I think we ought to take time right now to look at the uneven bars. Kathy Johnson's going to document how they have changed through the years. I'm sure a lot of you remember this. 